code. Okay, so this is the October 18th. 18th. I'm yeah. look at the wrong sheet. October 18th, um, Cemetery Commissioner's meeting. Uh, commencing at, I've got 6.05. Me too. Me too. All right. Um, All of our machines agree. Who knows what time it really is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, machine, every, everything's yeah. synced to some <laughs> clock somewhere. And if that's off, God forgive us. Yeah. All right. So um, I have on the agenda, we'll review and approve the minutes of the September 20th, 2023 meeting. Um, the only question that came up about those, Susan was wondering if we should include names when we're talking about burials and that. And I, and my feeling is if we're doing a lot sale, maybe we, I don't know if we should include it or not, but if it's a burial, once somebody's buried, it is public knowledge. So it wouldn't hurt to put it in there. Even if you just said, in this case, the Reed family, you know, well, so I, you know, I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah, I, I actually, I, I appreciate the nuance of that demarcation. So, okay. you know, a burial names are okay, but for purchasing plots it's unnecessary that's what you're suggesting walter yeah i, I mean if if we i mean if we feel we want to i mean i'm sure it's public knowledge when somebody or public information when somebody purchases a lot too but um you know also there's you know sometimes probably a little bit of privacy why did they pr purchase it you know is there something going on with the family yeah so yeah that was just my my feeling, I, and it's open to you know you guys to say how you feel about it too. You have any sense, Susan? Well, you know, it's really sort of an important piece of historical information. I right. think so. All right. so on on sales, to the on business. sales too, Susan. No, I mean no. I don't okay. think sales the burials. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think with the burials, it really is. So yep. let's let's keep it in for burials. Okay. So is it then, okay to? The Reed family, or should I say the name of is Charlie, right? Yeah, his name was the Charlie. The name of the I, child they're burying. I, I think I don't know if it was on my end or your end. It kind of like you were Charlie. cutting in and out a little bit, but I heard that too. Oh dear. Okay, but yeah, it either one. I mean, his his name was Charlie Reed, or you can say the Reed family. I, I mean, Sure. I mean, to make it, if we want to make a historical record, it's it was Charlie, Charlie Reed. And it's spelled, their last name is spelled R-E-A-D. Okay. Does anybody else have anything on or corrections or omissions or anything on the? Uh... I didn't. No, I they thought they looked pretty good too. So I'll put the motion to accept the minutes as amended here tonight. I'll second that. Or I'll make the motion. <laughs> Susan, we don't hear you at all. Oh, I gotta readmit her. Okay, hold oh, on. For the phone. There we go. That's why. Now she's back. Oh. We'll try again. Heck wrangling. Technology's great as long as it works. Oh, man. There we go. Ta -da. Yay. Sorry. It's okay. I was doing something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
As long as we got you back. All right. So, uh, Dina, you did make a motion to accept the minutes. I did. Okay. Um, I'll I'll second that. So we'll do uh. No further discussion. So we'll do a uh, roll call vote. There we go. So uh, Dina, uh, aye. Susan, aye. And I vote aye also. Thank you. They are accepted. All right. Next, um, new burials and lot sales. Um, I have actually one of each since last last meeting. Oh. Um, we did do a cremation. I did do a cremational burial in the West Cemetery, um, for a woman named Irene Sousy or Sousy, S O U C Y, I believe it is. Okay. Um, she actually had passed away back in February and was cremated, and and I guess it was a relative that worked through Kostansky's funeral home because it was just just Jim from Kostansky's funeral home and myself there. There was no no ceremony, no nobody else there. Um so wow. Yeah. yeah it's it's kind of sad, but uh, you know you can call me Walter when those things happen and I'll come. Okay. All and, right. And I would come too. And and right. say words. I'm happy to and and train to it's what I do for life. Sure. Yeah. It was it was kind of a very last minute thing. Yeah, those uh, things in there, it's so stark and weird. Yeah. It, yeah. We we can do better by a person. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Coming to join us, I think. All right. Yeah, yeah so I, I I'd more than be willing to do that. Sure. And yeah. I'll I should let you guys know when we're doing one anyways, just in case. You know, it's it's good to know. Good to know. Yeah. And then just on Saturday, I did a lot sale, uh, plot sale um, for, and I, I won't say the name, but some people on Baker Road that have been longtime Shutesbury residents. Oh. Um, and it was one of those end lots close to the parking lot. It was lot two, uh, 189. And it's a, it's, it's basically 18 feet deep. But it's only like it wasn't even nine feet. It was like eight feet or seven and a half or eight feet at one end, and it's like five feet at the other. And technically, you could probably have called it a three plot lot, but just because it was so narrow and odd shaped, and they've been longtime residents, and it's one of those ones that'd be hard to sell anyways. I told them I'm gonna. I sold it to them. I took the initiative and. I'll take any blame. Otherwise, I I sold it to him for as a two plot lot. So fair, yeah. Since it was non conforming, yeah, it's it's definitely yeah. one of those end ones that are really odd sized. So, um, but they were happy with that and with they with the lot anyways. So, um, that gets sure. rid of one of those other hard to sell, weird end of the row lots. So. So that was good. So, yeah. Um, so that's it. One one burial and one lot sale since last month. Business is booming. Yeah. It's something <laughs> that's for sure. Not so nice to have burial business, but great to have lot sale. Yeah. 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 You know, though, I feel about the burial business. Um, it's a good place to rest. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know, a nice, so, it's a nice um, cemetery. At least we have that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Also, it's a place that's visited because so many people walk there. Oh, it is. I is. like that. It, about almost any time I go there, there's always one or two cars pulling in, some people yeah. getting out and walking, other people just walk through there. You know, all yeah. of a sudden you look up and there's somebody there. Yeah. Okay. Um, moving on to item number three. I did not get much done with this, um, which was hiring of the new groundskeepers. What was left to do is meet with the personnel committee and and work on the advertisement. Um, if they are meeting this month on the third Thursday, it would be tomorrow night. I did not get in touch with Becky before that time to let her know that I need to get put on the agenda and 
frankly, I don't know if I could have made the meeting anyway. So unfortunately, we haven't moved any forward anymore with that. Um, but I will try to get on that early to see if we can get moving on that and get that the changes that we approved approved by the the personnel committee and signed off by the select board to you know accept those changes and then we can start with the advertisement okay. i'm hoping we'll be able to find somebody but I, you know really don't know you know even talking about our conversation last week is you know the next the other thing i wanted to bring up with them is trying to get the pay raised some because you know, just over seventeen dollars an hour. You can actually get that at McDonald's now. So, wow! You also can't rent any place to live with it. No, no, no. Full time. No, I mean it's yep. gotten insane. Yeah, hold on just a minute. I'm going to go mute for a second. I wonder how much we need groundskeepers in the winter. Can we survive without them if we need to until the spring? Yeah, really. Once once the fall stuff is done, the leaves are picked up. Um, there's not a lot to do. I mean, it's a good time to go around and do some brush cutting because you don't have to worry about leaves and all that. But in the middle of winter, nothing really happens till springtime. So, yeah, it, we have time to look for somebody. Um, okay. It was just, it would have been nice to get somebody on so Susan and Mike could kind of train them and, you know, oh. show, show them how they do things and all that. So we weren't starting from scratch. Yeah. But, um, you know, the wheels of of politics and progression sometimes don't go as fast as we'd like. <laughs> so yeah. Maybe we can invite them back and, and pay them for a uh... A day to come and train somebody you know yeah sure. keep that in mind all right so i again i don't have much more to go on with that nor the next thing number four which is allowing members of the commission to work as a groundskeeper i haven't looked at that wording and redone that i was hoping to have that done haven't done that so we'll uh we'll let that one go to <laughs> till next meeting um then what's up is number five is update on ground penetrating radar. We're going to have to wait for him to come back from Italy and restart the conversation and probably get at it in the spring. Right. Okay. No, but I thought that, that your suggestion, Walter, of sort of what we were looking at as a place to begin was excellent. Yeah. I, I, I was looking at the map over the weekend when I was doing the lot sale and I started looking and I said, I know there's a few that are marked unknown here. And I started looking around going, Oh, Oh, oh wow, there's a lot more than I thought. Right. So, so I took just... I took the map and went right from lot number one right up through. And you know, I took a just a yellow highlighter, highlighted on the plastic on the laminate just so I could see them, and then went back and wrote down the lot number, the size, right. the basic number of plots, and what their equivalent value would be, just to see, well, you know, is it worth spending a lot of money for not too much? Um but then when you look at it and say, okay, if it's all town residents at $350 a lot, and I don't have the totals in front of me here because I don't have my finish sheet, but it was $40,600 worth yeah, of Yeah, no, it's, cons it's, it's actually significant. Right. The oh, only it's, it's, the and it's a good argument to use yeah. for doing a project. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The only two that were a little... You know, disconcerting was the fact that there was two lots, number 34 and lot number 216, that were marked unknown, yet there was a, on the map, there's a like a V with a circle in it, and that says veteran, and usually there's that that's where they put the veterans flags. So I was like, okay, if we, if it's an unknown lot, but there's a veterans flag on there, that means it's probably somebody there. Um, we unless somebody just out. inadvertently put a flag there and they just said, oh, okay, there's a flag Kept there. happening, right. Um, whereas, you know, the ground penetrating radar will hopefully answer that question. Is there somebody buried there or is there not? Yeah. And then, you know, the last thing is to try to match that, any of that stuff up with any of the old records to see. 
And unfortunately, they probably didn't have the lots numbered the way they are now because that, those lots were, or those maps were made. I got to look at the date. Oh, I have to have it right here. If you if you can look and see who's buried in the adjoining lots, that would help you. Right. Yeah. If we could, if we had that, and if it was written down somewhere, then then we would know. But... Well, we have the map of um. You know, we've got whatever his name was um. Writing down, recording all the the writing. Oh, the Cor on. Corbin's collection. Corbin's collection, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not sure if that covered the the newer part of the West Cemetery or not. It do I, it doesn't. It's just for the older stuff. Right. But I want any overlap at all. Yeah, I don't know. There might be. But let's see. Let me just see what the date was on this map. If there is one. <laughs> he was working in the 30s, I think. No, actually. No, but this this one does say it was done by William E. Randall. Uh, I was speaking of somebody that thought it was done by with uh, uh, yeah, one of our past town administrators and uh, Furcog, but but at some point they were these were done, but you know they may yeah you know, there was probably burials done before they started numbering the lots. So yeah, some of those burials are you know, back still even in the 1800s, so, or late, or, or very early 1900s, so, um, yeah, the, the ground penetrating radar seems like the only way to finally answer this question, so that would be a look, really, really look forward to seeing what that would cost, and, uh, you know, when we could get it done, and what we get out of that, so. Okay, in the minutes, even though we don't have the detail, I'm going to include the detail that you sent us, okay? Okay, yep. About at least, yeah, as much as, that probably should include the whole shebang. Yeah, you, we could, you could attach the sheet as a, yeah. to the minutes, yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, that, that was, when I started totaling up, I said, wow, that is significant. As a matter of fact, when I first told up, I went, wait a minute, that can't be right. And I went back and did it again. And it's like, well, yeah, you know, no, it is. Wow. So, and then if and then if you had, you know, non-residents, you know, oh, wow. criteria that that adds a lot more to it. So yep. um, I definitely think it's it's something that's worth looking into for many reasons. One, because it is potential income, and two, it just it would answer a lot of questions of where and if people are there and where they are and then we got then we'd have to just try to figure out who they are if that was the case so yeah all right uh, anything else on that right at the moment no, so this is going to be a quick move me meeting but <laughs> i'm so fascinated by this project though i'm really glad we're we're pursuing it yeah, me too. It's it's good find finding that that gentleman Bob to do that. Um, yeah, we just gotta hope he gets back from Italy in one piece. And <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, he's accept, right, he's not antique. Is he antique? He's antique. No, no, I said he in his seventies. That does not make him antique. It doesn't make you antique if you're in your seventies. Absolutely, not. I have no. I have I have more shelf life than I thought. Then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably do. <laughs> we'll see oh that's funny okay. uh, all right then next agenda item i had i put in seven because i couldn't remember i had an update on leaf blower repair or replace and other equipment um had we purchased the leaf blower at the time or not when we had the last oh, meeting I expected you to purchase it okay yeah. so what happened was i did purchase a new one it's a, a i think it was the 560 oscar one 560 backpack blower that was right right at the five hundred dollars that we we said it was going to be um and i at the same time then delved into the other backpack blower i had ordered a new carburetor for it um and put that on and did a few other things and then found something that i probably should have found to begin with but i didn't 
And between everything, it now runs like a charm. So we do have the original yes. one that's running perfect, and we have the brand new one. So good. good. So there's a backup, anyways. So, so that that worked out good. Yeah. Um, then is there any other unfinished business or anything we haven't anticipated? I don't think so. It's certainly nice to see you both. <laughs> well, yeah. Nice. Nice yeah. to see you. Nice to be seen too. Yeah, and I I want to report that it's I uh, sent the I gave Gail the information about that we about the the new reg the um, revised regulations. Yeah. yeah, and we had a number of conversations about it and squared it away. So that should be on online now. I think oh, I think did. I did check on there and it what it was there. So sure. yeah. Oh, that that reminds me. I did have a uh, an inquiry. And I want to double check on that we got all that stuff in somebody who has a family plot down on the Pratt Corner Road Cemetery wanted to put in a stone for their their family plot. And what the heck is that? That was weird. Yeah. My phone just made some kind of alarm. Huh. I don't know what it was. Hey. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, never heard that before. Uh, so I I do have to call her back because I'm knowing this person. It's it's going to be a stone that they have. You know, it would be like some kind of field stone or something like that. You know, she may have gone ahead and, and gotten a uh, you know, purchased a stone, but I'm really not sure. So I do want to call it back and just make sure. It, yes, you know, let her know that if she she can put that there, but you know, she needs to, you know, contact us or me and and make sure it goes in the right place. So <laughs> yeah, there's, there's we need still to talk about publicizing our regulations. We need to put something in our town. Yeah, yeah. That, that would work. Our yeah, our town or even next door Shrewsbury or both of them. So people yeah. get to uh, our get town. To know. It has to be in our town because it goes to every household. Next door right. is not a reliable way to communicate. No, no, it isn't. And I I don't oh, even do that. Might not read our town. It's sort of backup. Yeah, I mean, the, and the next door Shrewsbury is not a town, an official town no. thing. So oh, I do like not. you can't. I do like doing things on the official town you know sites or whatever right. um, but yeah it would be nice to put a little blurb in there from the cemetery commission that you know we've redone a lot of the yeah we can get into the next our, our town things and you know and to, for people that could now can go online and and check that but if they do have questions you know time. we like i said we encourage them to come to one of our meetings our our monthly meetings but if not you know they can contact us and We'll, we'll do what we can to answer their questions. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> okay, so does one of us have a responsibility for writing this, drafting this blurb and bringing it back? Or do you drafting say drafting the blurb for the R Town, you mean? Yes. Um, I will volunteer to draft a blurb for the R Town and okay. bring it back to our next meeting. Oh, great. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Anything else? And this is probably we one of our shorter with... meetings that we've had. So we, we covered a lot of territory. We yeah, we did a... in a short period of time. Uh, yep. All right. So the last thing to do is set a date for the next meeting. Um, let's see, but we're getting into. Starting to get into holidays now. Wednesday the 15th. Yep, that'll work. Oh, that's right, the 15th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then we don't run into holiday stuff. Okay, Simcom. All right, yeah. very good. Okie dokie. All right, well, thank you all. I guess we need to uh, take a vote to adjourn. Yep. Yeah. We'll make a motion to, it, to do it first. 
Oh, uh, so moved that we adjourn. Okay, okay. and I'll second that. Okay. No further discussion, so we'll do a vote. Susan. Yeah, aye. Dina. Aye. And I vote aye also. Thank you very much. I'm going to 30 minutes. A record. Stop the recording. Ta -da. <laughs> at 25, because we started to fight.